the heart of a small country town, nestling between rolling hills and endless fields. There was an age-old tradition that ignited the Halloween spirit in the heart of its children. Every year the townsfolk gathered at Harvest Hollow, a vast and eerie corn maze that seemed to stretch into the darkness forever. Four teenagers, lifelong friends, stood on the outskirts of the cornfield. Their excitement tinged with a hint of trepidation. Each of them was dressed in elaborate costumes befitting the spooky occasion. Sarah, the adventurous spirit of the group, was dressed as a mischievous witch. Her black hat perched atop her flowing black robes and a broomstick propped against her shoulder. Jake, the class clown, had transformed into a grinning skeletal jester, complete with a jagged tooth mask and a jingling bell atop his hat. Emily, the artistic one, portrayed a spectral ballerina. Her ethereal costume featured a flowing white skirt and a delicate mask, and she twirled like a phantom wherever she moved. Tim, the daredevil, had gone all out as a gallant vampire. His cape billowed dramatically, and his fangs gleamed menacingly under the moonlight. With laughter and excitement, they dared each other to venture into the corn maze after it had been closed for the night. The crisp, cool air nipped at their cheeks as an occasional blustery breeze rustled the corn stalks. The dare began with Sarah stepping into the maze, her heart pounding as Jake counted to a hundred. The darkness swallowed her, and she was soon joined by the others. Separated, they each encountered the spectral entities that relentlessly pursued them, appearing and disappearing like wraiths in the night. As they wandered deeper into the maze, the sky grew darker and the storm clouds gathered overhead. Lightning crackled from cloud to cloud, illuminating their panicked faces while thunderclaps reverberated through the maze, sending shivers down their spines. Out of nowhere, a scarecrow burst to life. A flock of evil glowing crows erupted from its straw-stuffed frame. They encircled and terrified the teens, swooping and diving, evoking blood-curdling screams. After an hour of sheer terror, they finally stumbled upon each other. Their costumes disheveled, faces pale. Without hesitation, they raced for the maze's exit and burst back into the village. Their hearts pounded, and they couldn't believe what they had just experienced was real. But then, Tim reached into his pocket and pulled out a single glowing crow feather. Its eerie light casting a glow upon their bewildered faces. A chilling reminder that a ghastly encounter in the corn maze had indeed been real.